What vlog is this? Never mind, we're not gonna start out like that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our vlog again. Baby update for you guys. Yes. And also, we're doing something a little fun. Just so you guys just don't have to hear us talk. I'm gonna paint the Delane's toenails. <laughs> but first, we're gonna turn off our fan so you can hear. This way, you can hear us, but also we can explain what's been going on the last few weeks and mm -hmm. make it a little bit more entertaining for you. I'm sitting in this pregnancy pillow so I can get off the couch. Y'all, the, they should make those pillows for non-pregnant people because, man, they are comfortable. He falls asleep in it a lot. I do. It's real. He really does. So, I have a ton of nail polish and I told him to pick out several and then we'd narrow it down. My yes. favorite thing about this is that he picked out the cheapest nail polish that I have <laughs> without knowing that it's the know. cheapest nail polish. Yeah, yeah. Like out of Essie and OPI, he picked these three. Yeah. The ones that are a dollar and two dollars. Yes. So, uh, these are the colors that he chose and yeah. I'm going to let him pick now. So, I've already had a color in mind when I picked out these three. These are my favorite. But I think I'm gonna go with this middle guy right here, the, okay. the blue. I just, there's this, I just like it. So, I haven't heard a update at all on me being pregnant for, yeah, it's probably been a month or so. And in the last month, a lot of things have been happening. A yes, lot. A lot. Uh, I'm in the process of switching doctors. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't love my doctor. Right. I think that she was amazing. Mm -hmm. Also, my feet are really <laughs> ticklish. <laughs> I'm in the process of switching doctors because I could never get a hold of my doctor, ever. Yes. One time, when I got, I did get a hold of my doctor, probably about beginning of August, I think it was. Mm -hmm. They told me, I explained some symptoms I was having and they immediately said, very panicked that I had to go to the ER. And so we did, we went to the ER and yeah. they did a lot of things. He's doing a great job. I am? Yeah, good job. Huh. <laughs> Initially, okay, good. this is very helpful because I can't reach my toes. <laughs> when I first got in there to the ER, the lady wouldn't let us leave. Um, and she said that even though they didn't take our insurance, we were gonna go somewhere else. She said that it was an emergency and I had to be seen right then because of the symptoms I was having. And so, as she's talking, this man comes out of nowhere with a wheelchair, like makes me get in the wheelchair, and <laughs> runs me down the hallway. I was having a lot of symptoms, like chest pains, I still am, shortness of breath, which of course I'm pregnant, being nauseated, of course I'm pregnant, and um, being so dizzy that sometimes I wouldn't be able to move, like my body would get really heavy, and so I would just stop and I couldn't say anything. So that's why my doctor wanted me to go. Well, the doctor initially was like, we just had to do an EKG because we thought maybe you had a heart attack. And I was like, thanks, appreciate that, it's, that's good. Okay. Oh yeah, sure, heart I attack. I was very grateful that they checked for that, of course, and then he thought maybe I had blood clots. He checked for that, they did so many tests, we were there for a long time. Um, yeah. And then he said, we have no idea what's going on. We don't know why you're experiencing that. None of these are normal. And then they just listened to Jensen's heartbeat and that was all. Pause. How do you think those look? Guys, I'm like <laughs> so impressed with this. Um, so the current shot that you see right now, the close up, it doesn't really show. I mean, you can see the, the big toe, but <laughs> there you go. You can kind of see the nails a bit better. We'll give you a better shot of what they actually look like in, in a second. But. I am so impressed and I'm so happy. So, like I said, he said, we don't know what to do mm -hmm. for you. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to paint because I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't maneuver that way. <laughs> Is it these two toes? Yeah, right. the ones that are kind of together. <laughs> this little piggy went to the market. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, I went to my doctor as a follow-up and she said none of my symptoms were pregnancy symptoms and stuff like that and so she said I can't do anything for you and that 
she told me, you shouldn't do too much because we don't know what's going on, but you shouldn't stop doing everything. It, it was very strange. Mm -hmm. So, and she said if I was too dizzy that I shouldn't drive. It just, it <laughs> but if was, you felt okay, you could drive. Like Yeah, it was a lot of things that I got just really confused about. And she's amazing. I really do genuinely think she's amazing, an amazing doctor. She's so wonderful and so kind. And I would never want to say anything negative about her because I really love her. Um, but I just could never get a hold of the doctor's office ever. And right. they wouldn't call me back for about four or five days. So I just decided because of all the symptoms I was having and them all seeming so concerned that I probably should switch doctors. And so I did, and I'm gonna see him really soon. Um, but as of right now, I'm still waiting on a cardiologist to call me. Still waiting. <laughs> so, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been about three weeks since yeah. then. So we don't really know what's going on, and every day I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Mm -hmm. today, today she's she seemed, you seemed better yeah I've, I've sure. seen a lot I have felt a lot better and things like that which is really nice because for probably up until like yesterday honestly I could not do anything yeah like I would get I would stand up and I'd start getting really dizzy and then almost pass out it's really nice so I'm hoping that it continues this way and that everything's fine as far as I know everything is fine with Jensen and to me that is the most important thing absolutely so, yeah. they listened to him on the Doppler. I'm hoping that maybe when I go to my new doctor, that maybe they'll actually do an ultrasound and can check on him just for peace of mind for both of us. Mm -hmm. But that's what's been going on, and that is why we haven't had as many vlogs. And a lot of the vlogs that we have posted have been from quite a while ago, and yes. we just put them together and made them for yeah. this because we just kind of wanted to give you an update because. You guys are on this journey with us, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that don't know what's going on, and Absolutely. we would love if you could pray for us. Please. We need it. We know all the prayers. Yes. So happy that you guys have been watching our vlog so much. Um, we really appreciate it. Every view that we get, we're like, oh my gosh, we got another view. Or subscriber, we're like, yes, another subscriber. We love y'all, and we're so glad that um, we can kind of be connected to you this way. Yep. And that Joseph did such a good job on my toenails. On that note, let me show you guys. I'm very impressed. How I did. <laughs> like, actually, this is way less dramatic than I thought. That's the the paint job that I did on her nails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed. This one, this little toe right here, right next to the, the cotton, was a little difficult because I had to ma ma he maneuver. Didn't push the cotton down farther, but that's fine. I didn't. I could have, but thank you so much for watching. Yes. We love y'all very much, and we can't wait for y'all to see our next vlog and um, see our little Jensen be born here in a few months. So, we love you guys. Bye.